So Tom Segura finally addresses the whole washcloth drama that happened uh, like a month ago. A few weeks ago, yeah. we actually went, a clip from the show went viral. Yeah. That was um, <laughs> about washcloths. Like it was <laughs> everywhere. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, here is some of the clips that got him in trouble. I, you know, I try to find the original clips, but it seemed like they were taken down because I'm so, uh, sort of copyright claim. And now you can't find the original video on your mom's house. So good thing I had them saved for my previous video and I'll show you them right now. Here you go. Well, you're just at your just anti -leg I'm not leg washes. I'm not going to fucking wash my legs and feet. You think that's just a black people thing? Clearly. Well, and he's the only one here who took the day off. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I think the washcloth is a poor person um, thing because I I've, I've only met poor who use them. I've, I've never met. Wait, but is it also European? Because I, I have European friends that do it as well. Maybe, maybe they're poor. I don't know. I don't know. But we never did in my house. I don't. No, there was no disgusting. time for that. No, I've ended friendships when I saw washcloths. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't want that stink on me, you know, yeah. that like poor stink. Yeah. But I don't understand. I guess it's, it is just so that you don't have to touch your hands to your genitals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we don't have that much soap to go around. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll be breaking down Tom's response to this whole thing, just so you guys can understand it a little bit better. You know, for some of the people that don't understand the podcast or Tom's humor, I, I think it'll be better suited if I just kind of give you a, a better a better explanation. All right, let's go watch this. A few weeks ago, yeah. we actually went a clip from the show went viral. Yeah, that was um. <laughs> about washcloths like it was <laughs> everywhere um it was on world star it was on black culture news mm. i got tagged a uh, fucking ten thousand times mm. and it was in, from an episode that was actually had already aired like a few weeks or a month prior or something and people snipped this clip of us talking about washcloths mm. being for pores um <laughs> You know, what's funny is that it started, um, I think you go, do you wash your legs and feet? I go, no, I'm not black. Because <laughs> on a previous episode, we talked about who washes their legs and feet. And I think it was only any that said he did. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't there that day. So that it looked like, a, you know, oh, so I yeah. was like, I was making a shout out to any, but he wasn't there. Anyway, this clip, I was like, you know, uh, in the clip, I go, no, I don't think it's for, but I do think it's for pores. I go, I think, you know, poor people use washcloths. <laughs> and, uh, dude, it went everywhere. And so Tom also says that he was surprised by the people that commented back. And these were like, you know, pretty no notable people, famous people. And a lot of people commented. I mean, a <laughs> lot. Um, I mean, th I mean, thousands mm -hmm. and, and like notable people like rappers, uh, wow. actors, you know, activists, big time blacks. Like, big fuck, time. yeah, the, yeah. The game. Wow. Really? Yeah. I don't even know who that is. Yeah. I know who that is. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, these motherfuckers smell like hot dog water. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Um, <laughs> and so he, many people. So all these people use washcloths. Can I tell you? And he also mentions a couple of comedians that thought that what he said was like serious and he was shocked that they didn't understand the joke in it. And here's that clip. Like super disappointing thing. Yeah. A couple of comedians were like, uh, what's this all about? And I'm like, you don't, you don't rat out. No, no. Like you don't under, you don't, I don't even want to explain it. Like you don't see what's going on. Like you don't, yeah follow this yeah super late i mean the the next sentence i was like i've i've ended friendships over washcloths <laughs> like that's the next thing i say and i have comedians going like can't believe this is how this dude talks. i'm like <laughs> what so stupid what? now here's where tom likes to kind of like troll the people that thought it was hilarious and say yeah like that's a joke but it's also a serious point and this is what he says about that like, and it, what, it, it, it is a silly topic. I mean, is it, it? It's guys, we're discussing who uses what. It's it's not. So there's the joke part politics, of it. Now no. here's the serious part of it. Stupid idiots. Washcloths are for poor people. Yeah. So 
We got. We know that. That's just facts, bro. We got an email. It's fa- because listen, does the 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 the, the pre- uh, what's his name, King Charles? Does he use a washcloth? Of course, no, of course not. No. You know, here's um here's an email we got. Hello, Tom and Christina. Let me start off by saying what a big fan I am of you both. That being said, I have a thought on the washcloth debate. I am a native Houstonian who has been using a washcloth his entire life. Ugh. I feel this could be a byproduct of being raised by parents who were raised extremely poor in southwestern rural Virginia. You don't say. <laughs> Almost Uh. all of my extended family worked in coal mines Mm. or something that supported the mines. I think poor white trash, a.k.a. my family, (laughs) grew up doing hard manual labor that would Mm. leave you extremely dirty, therefore needing a scrubbing device when washing yourself. I myself am a car mechanic, and after a hard day's work, Washing myself with just a bar of soap usually doesn't cut it. See, that I do understand. But if you don't do mechanics work, usually just a little soap in the hand will leave your hands clean, right? Yeah, dirt bag. Well, and also, Yana, might I point out, my father was a forklift mechanic. and he Can he had, just put a little bit of soap in his hand? Yeah, so what, no. they, what he had in his shop at the end of the day, because his hands were covered in oil as yeah. well, you, you have like a special sink and there's like a chemical, a, a yes. type of special it's soap. It's a special soap they use in mechanics. That washes yes. and off. So yeah. you, you don't, wait, maybe he's too poor to afford the special soap. Maybe. Am but I, my dad never used a fucking washcloth, that's for sure. Mm, well, he also owned the place. Mm. Now... Now then he goes on and then he goes on to say that he would like to do a full on investigation about who actually does use a washcloth, you know, going further into the joke of let's see who really uses it and, and that here's that clip. It's on Amazon and you don't need to use a washcloth like a disgusting animal. Here's there you what go. I'm here's what I'm prepared to do. I am prepared to launch an actual investigative piece on what's going on <laughs> with washcloths and whether or not it is for the pores or for everybody. And I have a feeling we're, <laughs> we're going to get to the bottom of this. So just keep your eyes open. I'm going to be talking to some folks. Yeah. 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 I've only had one friend use washcloths, and when she would stay with me. She- now, guys, like, I, if you're a newcomer or you've never heard of Tom Segura's podcast or his show or his comedy or anything about him, and you just kind of stroll into the 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 washcloth thing and you see how you know he talks about it and he mentions the blacks and the pores and if you if you think he's being serious then this is where you guys are getting trolled like this co- this show this podcast is a comedy podcast like if you're not in it in a weekly basis you're not looking at a you're not looking at episodes on a weekly ba- basis then you won't really understand the inside jokes or like the humor in it like on in the outside like like come like knowing their style i understand that some of the things that they're saying comes off as edgy or cringy or ignorant and that's <clears throat> what the show is they just love to make fun of things exaggerate, you know, the the thing that they're talking about. Like, there's like an inside joke where they say that their producer is like, uh, went to rehab because of his gambling addiction and he took a week off and now like the next week, you know, this this week they're like, oh, so Nadav's back, you know, the producer that was on rehab. And then they tell him, how did it go? And it's an inside joke, but like, uh, welcome back to Nadav. Mm. Uh, welcome back. I am I am well. How are you? G M well. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I just want to say there's. I feel like I embarrass myself on this show a lot, and every time that I do, you guys kind of come in and save the day for me. So mm. I just want to say thank you for you know sending me to rehab and stuff. And how was gambling rehab? <sighs> It was actually, like, a lot more depressing than I thought it was going to be. Really? Because they're lumping you in with other 
other addicts as well. Yeah, well, you're an addict. Yeah. Right. But, like, I was just addicted to gambling, but, like, everyone else that was there was addicted to gambling and other stuff. Oh, I see. Yeah. And you think you're better than Do you than think like you have them. a new perspective now? Because a lot of people Yeah, I'm it. better than all of the other gamblers. That's not Nadav. What? That's the thing, like, it's like in, re- you know, it's like professional wrestling in a way, like, where they try to make things look real, but obviously it's scripted, right? It's not real. It's just for comedic effect and just for fun it's a comedy podcast in their show they make fun of people that are you know pretty much uh neo uh, narrow divergent as they might say on the online and they make fun of injuries and you know he uh, tom has a segment called horror horrible or hilarious where he shows clips of people getting injured and asking his guests was it horrible or was it hilarious I just don't want to see anybody fuck anything. I don't. Okay. I don't want to see. Yeah, no, I don't. No, no, I don't want to like see that. that. This is just. Do you think this is fun, horrible, or hilarious? That's it. You know. So here's like. Hey. 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 <laughs> 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, she's not hurt. She's fine. She's oh fine. She's saying, "Oh my god!" too much. <laughs> Oh, there's so many things into the show, but looking out, looking from the outside, it, it it'll look like them being racist or classist, and then you can understand that. But like coming from, you know, like me, the guy who watches the show usually on a weekly basis, like it's not insulting to me. Like I'm a poor, I'm a poor guy, and I use a washcloth. And when I heard that, I thought that was very hilarious. You know, and then people online, they also, you know, they ripped on Tom for not using a washcloth, saying that he's not exfoliating enough, he's not cleaning himself properly, and, you know, looking like a shiny turd on the outside, but looking, you know, looking pretty close on the inside, he'll look, uh, you know, his skin is like, it's just layer upon layer of dead skin, you know? So, for the people that are mad about Tom, don't be. He's just trolling. He will always double down. This has happened before when somebody like commented commented on his uh they they some, when somebody like DM'd him about stop talking about like luxurious things because I'm poor and then he like called them out. Like you don't you don't know who how many people like it could have just been one person or two, but he might have thought this is going to be hilarious. And people are going to talk about it. And it's always going to be about like having a viral moment, right? This, this was a viral moment that uh, will, you know, get eyeballs on his podcast. And he's just playing. He's playing that game. Um, and also, like, if you don't know Tom style, like his cadence, it sounds like he's being serious. But he's not. Like, that's just his style of comedy. He's like if a serial killer will tell you a joke, but you, you without knowing he's a serial killer, you know? Like, you'll just be like, ha ha, yeah, yeah, sure, you'll stab me or whatever. And then he'll just be like, you know, like, it's just like nothing. It's just not, not really serious at all. And the way he says things sounds like it's real, but it's just, it's just a way to troll people and... You know, just have fun in the show. Like I like the I like that they experiment with with subjects that might be considered a little too touchy. And there are times where they're gonna swing and they're gonna miss, and people are gonna be upset. But I think mainly with their audience that they've attracted, they already know what the deal is, and so like. All the other people that are attacking them are not really fans from uh, of them. They're not they're not they're just casual people that just came across a clip and they don't understand the context of it and they take it as serious. You know, that's coming from me from, you know, like I said before, like I've seen the show, so when I reported on it, like maybe not on my first video, I didn't say that clearly that I'm a fan of the show. And, but I did try, I try to talk to people on the comments and say like, no, this is just something they're doing. It's just, it's just for fun. It's for comedy. Other people will take it as like, no, they're just being racist and they're being classist. You know, that's your interpretation of it, but there's clearly a, a much broader 
more detailed in, in explanation for this thing. I mean, they're all, they're both comedians. It's a comedy podcast. It's just comedy, you know? You go to a comedy show, you expect comedy. You're going to expect some edginess. You go to a comedy podcast, you're going to expect some edginess. You're going to you're going to expect some you know, out of out of the line jokes. That's just going to happen. Um, anyway, guys, I'll end it here and uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>